is uh, Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, February 12, 2013 comes to a close. It's time for another vlog. Yeah, um, wait to the end of the day. That's what I try to do is wait to the end of the day, see what happens, and uh, then do the vlog from there. Uh, as, as you go along, as the thing gets done, uh, as more and more vlogs get done, I realize there's better ways to do things, and so... Uh, time for a little format change again, and it has to do a lot with, with the way I do my research, and I'm always at the research desk here. So, uh, I'm going to start bringing in some of the research that I do into here, some of the, some of the thoughts, the ideas, and so on and so forth, as it, as it sort of uh, relates or inter interacts with uh, my stroll around YouTube. And then the extras will be sort of uh, 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 even even further of an explanation um, than you would have. So this is sort of the brief bit here, in addition to the goings on, the sort of the work that's getting done, uh, and addition and some of my uh, thoughts and comments on things. And that's basically where we're going to go with this. And you'll see that in the title. It'll be reflected in the title and, and in the description. Uh, over the day today, uh, I was sort of, uh, as, more than just the day today, basically even over the weekend, uh, there's been the topic that's always sort of been flowing around, uh, talking about gay rights and the rights of, uh, of, uh, homosexuals to marry. And a lot of, um, YouTubers, when they make the comment, talk about that this has nothing to do with religion. And they've really kind of uh, sort of uh, pan over the idea uh, of well, sort of they write off the the, the whole concept of spirituality to begin with. Uh, most people uh, typically uh, write off religion as something secondary in their life. Um, it only comes to, to the mind uh, after. Uh, let's say, a horrible event or someone's death or something like that, that's when religion comes into your mind and the thoughts of God and spirituality. Uh, even if you look at uh, girls, spirit, the spirituality uh, as opposed to girls, because guys, guys on an average basis have almost no spirituality. Their, their primary religion for most guys is the, uh, is the whatever sports they watch on TV. That's what they do religiously. And that's fundamentally their religion. Uh, and they don't get any deeper than that into into uh, what they believe. The girls often say that girls are more spiritual. They are, you know, more emotionally connected to a variety of different things, and that includes the universe itself. Uh, and so they talk about this sort of a spiritual awareness that the, uh, that, that women have. But if you look at the spirituality that most women have, it's fundamentally uh, on average, uh, the, the, de the depth of their spiritual understanding is essentially yoga mats and scented candles, and that's as far as their, spiritual their spirituality actually goes. Uh, but spirituality goes a lot further than that. There's a lot more depth to spirituality. As a matter of fact, there's more than 3,000 years of, uh, 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 of, uh, of spirituality. It, 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 human history predominantly uh, prior to the 1960s uh, was uh, was sort of it was the predominant view it, it shaped and formed uh, societies and even when you go back into ancient Greece where uh, there are, were sort of whispers and rumors about homosexuality in ancient Greeks uh, the problem comes is that when you actually read the history of what was going on, the, the, the practice of homosexuality was never, even back then, accepted as a moral normality. Uh, and that, that, that goes with the sort of, with the sort of you know, it, it, it can be seen that, 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 that homosexuality for more than 3,000 years of human history has been seen as a moral corruption. Uh, this includes um, well, most of the forms of sexuality that had to be limited because as soon as, as the sexuality really started uh, opening up more, 
the society, and this can be even seen in the Roman Empire, where you had the degradation of the Roman Empire, and that's where you started having the collapse of society and so forth, because it, 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 it doesn't really take much to understand this. Let's assume, let's take, let's take religion and, and theology and spirituality out of this for a minute, out of the equation, and just simply look at, 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 spiritu at sexuality on its own, and the statement that, well, it's natural. Well, if you're going to go with a natural argument and say, well, it's natural and can't do anything to stop it, really, because they're all natural and there's no reason why you know, we, we can be sexual with, with anyone we want to be. When you look at uh, the actual societies, of, uh, what society? you go and look at animals, you'll find that more often than not, the higher functioning animals have a very specific society. There's a, so there's a social structure there. And whatever mating goes on, goes on within that structure of society. And you, within that, the animal's behavior, you know, the, 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 the animal's uh, societal structure. And that's, this is something that was sort of unknown and really not really heard of prior to the 1990s, is that it wasn't really understood that animals actually had societies the way we did. You know, that, that they lived in families, they lived in, in specific groups. Uh, and when they went and looked at, so, and this is sort of where you look at the, uh, the, uh, the origin of uh, STDs, you'll find that the STDs actually fit well within uh, the, uh, the paradigms, the understandings of virology, of microbiology, and within the sort of the functions of ke the chemistry of life, that you can understand that, that these things would propagate as such. And they found that when these, these societal structures, particularly from animals, they found this in dogs, they found this in elephants, when these societal structures broke down, that as society became more random, the level of violence went up with it. And, that, and this includes the number of disease and the ability of a species to sustain itself. So it's no, it's, on a physical level, it's more than just simply, oh, why can't they have the rights? There's a lot more complexity behind uh, the question of gay rights than simply, oh, they should be allowed to do whatever they want to do. And this is, is, this is something that not really is, is not really considered. It's not really thought about that much. And just the way we would consider if I went out and murdered somebody, to some, that would be horrible. And that would be a tragedy. In the same way, you can look at homosexuality and a lot of these what we call these sins or sinister behaviors as spiritual poison, something that poisons the soul and eventually kills uh, that person's life, the spiritual life. In other words, they'll have a temporal physical ex existence, and at the end of their temporal physical existence, they will have no more life afterwards. So you can kill the body but keep the soul alive, or or kill the soul and keep the body alive. In other words. The choice is between our temporal body, our temporal existence, or our spiritual existence. And when you have people who say, oh, I support gay rights, and oh, we should leave them alone, what you're saying is, and this is what a lot of people are saying is, is they don't care whether or not the person that, that they supposedly care about lives spiritually or not. In other words, uh, these are the people who are supporting gay rights. They're the people at the bo a bottom of a building, yelling to a person up on, on, on the top of a building to jump. In other words, this, and gives, this is a spiritual understanding of things, not the actual physical understanding of things. So this is the basic understanding of the spirituality of, uh, uh, of uh, homosexual rights and uh, the, spiritual, the spiritual poison. So uh, I will go into this further, but this is the end of the vlog now, and... I'll bring it forward into the Big 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 Big, big, big Bang Theory RL extras, and we'll have a larger discussion on it. All right, take it easy.